And today we have uh, John Piper, who's the uh, head lacrosse coach at Manchester Valley High School, and two of his players, Gabe Geichler and Ethan Pratt. Hey, guys, and, and John, this goes out to you first. Talk about how the, the COVID-19 affected you and, and what was going on at your school. Uh, really, it was uh, very impromptu, very abrupt. You know, we kind of we were at a scrimmage with uh, at Towson and we sort of got the word on the way back that Friday would be the last day and we'd be shut down for two weeks. And then, you know, as everybody knows, it kind of got extended from there. Um, it was really, I think, overwhelming for everybody. The uncertainty of the situation, you, you do the best you can. Um, I myself, you know, I had three college students coming back into my house. Uh, my wife's a manager at a locally grocery store, and she was overwhelmed too with all the changes that went on with that. And so, you know, as a as a husband, a father, a teacher, and a coach, you just kind of do the best you can to support everybody around you. Um, I really miss the miss the students, the interaction with the students and my players, uh, missing their youthful energy. So it was, like I said, it was it was overwhelming. Did you even get a chance to have like a, a final meeting with your players or it just kind of had a. Yeah, we uh, <laughs> really, I think it was, you know, we got on the bus ride back. We kind of talked a little bit what it was going to be like Friday. It, we thought, I, I guess as a coach, we thought Friday was maybe we'd have a little time, uh, maybe have one last practice, get everybody together. But they basically said everybody had to get on the buses. It was a scramble to get stuff out of lockers, out of the locker room. And, uh, you know, really, I guess we, you know, when we got back to the locker room from the scrimmage, we just sort of shared our pros and cons, what we were pleased with, and, you know, kind of just sort of embraced the uncertainty and went from there. And how about you guys, Ethan? How did it affect you? Well, really, so I wasn't at the Towson scrimmage, and that was our, like, the last hurrah, I guess, for the season because it ended so abruptly. So I felt like I missed out on that and like, like school too. It was just a mess trying to do online classes and like try to keep a schedule without having that like system there for you. It was just, it was complicated. And hey, hey, Kate, uh, how about yourself? It was a big deal. Um, I like Ethan, I wasn't at that scrimmage actually. I, I, uh, I sustained a concussion in the previous scrimmage. So I wasn't able to go to that one. and. You know, everything was just, it's like I hit a brick wall the, uh, on that Friday. You know, everything just completely, hit, I hit a U-turn. You know, getting used to the online classes, doing everything from home, not being able to play the sport I've been playing my whole life. You know, it was, it was a big turnaround, but you got to do what you got to do. Hey, Coach, how are you keeping in contact with your players? I did the best I could. It wasn't probably as much as I would have liked. Uh, my teaching responsibilities and then, you know, kind of being a parent, took front stage there. Um, but we, we had set up a Google classroom and put out some little workouts to try to keep the kids motivated and connected. Uh, some players I had very little contact with and others I had had quite a bit based on, uh, based on their need really. Some were dealing with it a little harder than others and it was nice to talk to them and sort of support them versus others where, you know, they were, it's okay coach, you know, we're, we're good.